Well, the Prime Minister has made an attempt to distance his party from the controversial Treaty Principles Bill by appointing ACT leader David Seymour as an Associate Justice Minister and giving him full control and responsibility of the bill. Political editor Jenna Lynch joins us now for more on this. And Jenna, why has Christopher Luxon done this? From what I understand, David Seymour didn't make a request from this. It was offered by Christopher Luxon. Now, no one's upset about the situation, but what we can read into that is that this was a political hot potato that Christopher Luxon wanted out of his hands. So he snatched it from his guy, Justice Minister Paul Goldsmith, and biffed it over to David Seymour to take responsibility for it. This Treaty Principles Bill has sucked up all of the oxygen in the government's beginning of the year. News cycle starting with the Kingitanga's Hui Amotu, that leaked justice paper continuing through Ratana, and then over the next couple of weeks, Christopher Luxon's got to go off and face the music at Waitangi. He needed a solution to get himself a baby step further distanced from this bill. Now, of course, he can't wash his hands of it entirely. Every piece of legislation that a government pursues is ultimately the responsibility of the Prime Minister. But this is David Seymour's baby. It's not something that the National Party wanted to do. It's the referendum. They wouldn't give up on that in coalition talks. But the compromise that they came to, Christopher Luxon cannot scrap this entirely if he feels like he's getting too much heat for it because it's inked into the coalition deals. So the solution that they've come up with is send David Seymour out to take the knocks on his own bill and try and protect the National Party from becoming collateral damage in a divisive debate that he doesn't want to have. Jenna Lynch, live from Parliament. Thank you.